Yeah, that's fine. At which point is Trust going to walk one block? <laughs> Trust loads himself in a cannon and fires himself at the party, trying to get back to the people in time. <laughs> <laughs> How are the elven superior, like, the elf supremacists going to react to seeing a half-elf? That's why I want to find out. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, no. Uh, or maybe just fucks the day up again. God damn it! Trust Stop the halfling. Uh... No, too late. Trust wanders up. You know. Trust. Yeah. Historically, historically, half elves are accepted by both sides. It's compl like completely the opposite of what normal, what you know, real no, life society is. These aren't it's... normal elves. Well, I'm oh, going <laughs> to suggest to uh, to the dragon boy here that uh, that we get him and the dwarf. Uh, to the slave camp and have them break the slaves free while we're scouting Wait, out the main city. I, I don't think that we doing anything like splitting the party up before we see how the racists react to the half breed. Yes. Yep, the half breed yeah. walks. Well, I don't know he's showing up yet. So uh, <laughs> as I'm, well, as I'm, uh, hey hey hey, as I'm making my way over, I make use of a uh, glib limerick. Oh Jesus, you were doomed. Can you, you not just put like, some masking tape on your ears or something to make them look pointier? Listen, I'm going to have to talk about, talk our way out of this anyway, so... <laughs> I'll try. I'm backing away slightly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I'm listening to Gator's advice, so never to when shit hits about we at least have a backup plan. When he gets thrown in the slave camps with us, that is. Right, so, as they see Trust turn up... Yep. Uh, they kind of stop, and you know everyone turns and looks at him. Says, "You have one of them with you." Sometimes their women are just so cute. I'm sorry, <laughs> I immediately run up and try to trust in the face. Don't don't worry. We have um, we have situations to brew this. Ready a shrike brush. What? A what? A shrike brush. It's it's a simple enough method. Um, you tie the person to the ground, you put a shrike bush under them, and then you wait. The bush grows up, the spikes come up, and, you know, we remove the half-breed. No. Luckily, yeah, no. luckily, we several of them <laughs> came with us, so we, we we do actually have the ability to do this. Trust, use your, movie, use your music to soothe their softened soul. <laughs> or yeah. I further so we have an excuse. That's cool. I, I can I can fix this. I can talk away out of this. I've got ten. You're gonna have to. I've got ten. I don't think talking is an option anymore. <laughs> I think you're gonna need natural twenties. I'm currently running. I'm wishing I had my weapons. Yeah. Well, actually, wait, in the first session, I said I was gonna try, kill Trust as quickly as I can. I'm inching back over towards the dwarf in case he needs to grab the warhammer off my back or something. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, probably better. I'm looking That's horrified the that the first elves we run into are going to have to kill. Yeah, it's setting a bad precedent, isn't it? I tell them that I actually am that I'm not a half elf. I'm full blooded. It's just I was found by some people who didn't care too much for our people in the past for elves, and they did this to my ears. We could also have said that he's a breed of elf from a different dimension who we found on an island while we were traveling, and I wish I'd have thought of that ten minutes ago. Yeah, that would have been quite good, actually. I don't know if that would have worked, but yeah, that sounds pretty good, though. They don't know that you're lying. <laughs> I think they know we're not telling the truth. Hmm. So, if you want to make your... Say Which diplomacy. story are we going with? The uh, he was raised by bastards one. Yeah, the raised by bastards one is marginally more believable. All right, maybe a bluff tech then. Mainly because okay. Greg doesn't know how to react to it already. Okay, mm. okay, uh, here I go. You think uh, what they did to his ears was bad? You should see why we call him Trust the Eunuch. <laughs> <laughs> well, they won't check that. I'm sure, so that's fine. Anyway, these are some pretty sick elves. And uh, Glib Limerick gets, and I also have my words of friendship. That's plus five to that. 
Are you sure you want to be friendly with these people? <laughs> I'm sure that A, there's a lot more of them than there are of us. B, they they have like a nice place here, and C, we can start a slave rebellion and take the place for ourselves and get extra crew for the ship. Anyway, that's 27, and with Global Limerick, I get a roll again and take the better get, and I keep the better one. Mm-hmm. 22 is hardly bad. Yeah, 22 is not a bad roll at all. You may crit that. Not enough. Huh. Well, yeah, but it gets plus 5 anyway because of the Fords of Friendship, so it's 27. Yeah, I think like, with, with all your bonuses, it's enough to so they won't, won't strap you down to a hole before any rush straight away. Sounds like a good night out. Only after your first pun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're, so we're we will, actually we'll a have unit. to check your story, of course. Our magical right. data innovations, but for, for now, we will believe you. The While this is going on, um, am I able to tell if there's h how many other people are in the town up there? Um, Check perception. No, but you think from the size, you'd expect a garrison of about 50. All right. So if we're talking 50 elves, we're talking at least a few hundred slaves. There's no way you're taking 50 elves for less than a couple hundred. Well, they did lose again. half of them, so. So we're talking at least 100 plus then. Yep. Well, it sounds All right. Good. Well, if you would give us just a moment to let our slaves know what's up um, and to make sure we've properly defanged them so they don't make trouble for you, um, we'll be happy to proceed. Oh, of course. We, we shall let's... Um, meet you by the gate. Very well. I give right. some appropriate salam, belugi, elfy, woogie greeting or whatever you're supposed to say when you're an elf on farewell. For the evergreen queen, live long and prosper. Salad, For the evergreen you know, queen, he gives you something that's you know a bit like the Nazi salute. This just makes <laughs> me really wanted multi-class and monk so I can have a D8 of punching people even when unarmored. Yeah, it'd be kind of handy, wouldn't it? Well, they never said anything about taking you out of your armor, so you're a little, you're still a little dwarven tin can. Well, yeah. you know, it, when I'm out of, when I don't have any weapons on, I mean, I feel so naked. Any and form of phallic replacement going on? Anything Freudian? This is why you should breathe electricity. <laughs> Nothing Freudian at no, all. He's just a little just guy a... with a, a giant sword, a giant hammer, and a giant axe. I'm not making up for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there, there are technically bigger weapons. Bigger uh, swords than a great axe. That's why he's so miserable. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right guys. So do, do we want to send slaves? Do we want to send slaves to the camp and have them free the slaves while the rest, while the elves go <laughs> scout out, or what do we want to do here? As well, soon as they test for us, the jigs up. One, so uh, has gone to one from the captain, chief boss, and gnome blight, and the crew's armed. So we have at least another thirteen people we can get back here. That is, yeah. if Boson actually I, helps us rather than taking the chance to dick us over because we, well, stole his ship. Yeah, I, I, I don't think with you that uh, Gnome Blight's chances with the Elven racists are going to be high. Neither, uh, no, neither are a Gnome's chances in a massive slave camp. There's nothing somebody who's been lifting anchor. I kind of wish... It was there a possibility to pass Eddie a note which has, like, moved the ship out um, so they can't get to it. We don't worry, we'll take this place and we have enough for a base of operations. The problem is though it looks a bit dodgy if the ship moves away because well it's our ship, what's it doing buggering off while it's in a factory? Well it's just drifting yeah, away. We don't know they don't know anything about this plane or shifting and everything. No, if the ship drip if the ship drifts away, we lose our best bargaining chip. Our main yeah, use true. to them is the use of the ship to go all con con conquistador around here. Been doing I've been telling them to arm and run out the cannons. <laughs> yep. I'd say yeah. arm. I wouldn't say run out because that would be a bit too overt. Well, you know, prepare. I was going to say, would it? I mean, these guys are basically Nazi elves. A military yeah. salute, actually. They'd probably go in for. Yeah. And, and then we they just find out that they were them. Yeah, exactly. So are we giving them a 21 gun salute aimed at the welcoming party? <laughs> Only at trust. No. We can uh, take out the welcoming party. I'm concerned with the other 50 people back there. Yeah, I'm going to be aiming for barracks or something. And actually, there is something to be said for waiting until we get into the slave camp so we could free the slaves, then open up, because we don't know how I many guards like, there are. I feel like, yeah. We don't know how many <laughs> guards there are in the slave camp as well. I All feel right. like Grace put a lot of work into making it so that we'd have to fight everyone. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And so we, we, we should do want the to best to go against his plans <laughs> and instead try and do this diplomatically. Are we being yeah, exported no, down I'm, there? I'm, or always, we... I'm not, I'm not going to force you into any combat. I'm just going to, being... if you're going to avoid combat, I'm going to make you work really hard to do it. <laughs> now, while we're at it, do you guys mind being slaves that much? I mean, this could be a good setup. I'm a dwarf. I'm usually, I'm not used to being a slave. I've been chained to many a forge. You're going to be in a mine. This is like your Christmas. <laughs> this is this is coming home for a bit. I mean, shitty wor working conditions, a uh, a bed made of dirt. <laughs> Beneficent I mean, elven overlords. Well, oh, we all know elves are horrible cannibals anyway. I mean, this is this is fucking going back home. I only ate Jim. I didn't eat anybody else. <laughs> All right, so am I going to be? Am I being escorted oh. by? Uh, are we being escorted by Elven, like you know, people to the thing, or are they supposed to be escorting us? Um, I believe the correct term is Elven stormtroopers. Yes. Yes. Um, the EE. -E? All right. <laughs> <laughs> the Elven elite. It's better than anything else I can come up with. Well, I suggest we all go to the camps. That yeah. I tell them that we want to make sure the conditions are right for our slaves. Um, and if they would escort us, we'd be glad to come along. Master yeah. Pampers be so well. And that gets okay. us all in the same place in case some shit needs to go down at the slave camp. In case. <laughs> yes, Master. And it gives Addy a chance to come back and do some reconnoitering, too, with his stealthy stealthiness. Yep, so yeah. they will lead you all towards the, um, the slave Is camp. Is Data carrying all of uh, Burke's weapons? <laughs> Besides my spear. Uh, I left which it in his I have. spear and his sling. Right, so it's, it, it's Gator I'm hoping he can disguise the, the spear as a walking staff or something. Uh, Is Gator no, encumbered? No, we don't want him to look... If he looks like he needs a walking stick, he's not going to be welcome in a slave camp. He's going to be thrown on a fire. Yeah. yeah. Or on a spiky bush. Or on a Here. spiky bush. You'd have a walking stick but, if you were able-bodied. I've got a walking stick. But if I hold it, it melds with me and becomes part of my wild shape. You mean you'd be a dinosaur with a stick? I'd be a dinosaur with a stick that oh. no one knows I have because equipment goes away into a pocket dimension. I'm gonna I'm gonna back up to the dinosaur then with a couple of these weapons. <laughs> <laughs> do we? Do we? I guess we don't know which that he's a. Uh, ooh, you're wild shaped right now. What do you? Do you yes. just look like a dinosaur? I am a dinosaur with a fancy hat. <laughs> yes, and a monocle. <laughs> can you s still speak while you're in dinosaur form, though? Like, fine. I, I can. Right. Sorry, that was just out of curiosity more than anything. That wasn't related yeah. to our plan. Oh yeah, we better give trust the map, by the way. Oh, I got it. it. Yes, that might be handy for him. <laughs> right. So you all get led off towards the camp. So. Three of the party are about to have a huge banquet in an elven castle with a load of not Nazis, and the rest of us are about to be enslaved. Yep. Hey, I like you the know plan. what? It's not the, it's not the first time. Hey, out of, it like, is. Could be going worse. <laughs> I've got out of tougher scrapes than this. Out of you trust to myself, who's Indy, who's Indy's dad, and who's like the German professor lady? <laughs> <laughs> um, can I roll perception to see anything I can see on this road on the way there? Roll perception to work out who's the German lady. Yeah. <laughs> Six. Great. Nope. I'm going to look around too. Uh, 18? Oh, sorry, 19 for Gator. Yeah, because yeah. everyone's getting plus one because they're elves about. Uh, seven. No. Yeah, you don't get to use their bonuses. <laughs> Worth a try. Now, Gator and I can't use elven, in, elven perception anyway because we are elves. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Although only we trust, weirdly enough, can. <laughs> yeah. He's only half elf. Yes. He's yeah. only got one elven eye. I just do believe <laughs> that the reason that you get make everybody more perceptive when you're around because everyone's more on edge because they know there are elves about. After this little run in, I kind of think that fear is valid. Yeah. I think that they get the plus one perception because they're that eager to look for someone who isn't talking about trees. <laughs> 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 you that? Are you a member of Greenpeace? No. Out of that. <laughs> uh, plus one. Oh my god, a hideous beastie is coming. Thank god he doesn't want to talk about elms. 
<laughs> elms? <laughs> elves talking about elms? Well, you've got an elf. You've tree got two, You've got two elves and a druid. And an elven druid. So the elven druid, of course, is always talking about trees. Yep. So the druid's talking about trees. The elves are talking about trees. <laughs> I don't but talk about trees, talk I talk about, about dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah. Then, I talk and the about dinosaurs, dinosaurs talking about how much better trees used to be back in his day. <laughs> 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 uh, I just can't wait to get some dirt in, dirt under me or on, on top of me. Why you want to be fossilized? <laughs> I just want to get back to my natural habitat of under of fucking caves. This this open sky and you know vacuous void is making me sky sick. That's what's making you sick right now. <laughs> Vertigo. <laughs> Or it's not it. the fact that the dwarf has been in the same armor since we started a few weeks ago, and there's had clearly 11... been no provision for showers. I had uh, like eleven had been drunk. I thought I had eleven sets of scale, scale mill. What happened to them? <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I, I I adjusted that to be more sensible and not a type. But I don't in think fairness, it eleven first. sets of scale mail would do well in arming the human crew. So presuming they won't fit the dwarf, the gnomish crew. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Because so yeah, technically one set of scale mail for yourself and ten sets for the human crew. That works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, As you approach the um, the slave encampment, you... you hear children laughing and playing merrily in the distance. Before bullets <laughs> just sound out throughout the air. No. <laughs> You you notice the terrible terrible smell to first begin with, you know. There's pretty much no um, sanitation. Yeah, sanitation here. <sighs> it smells like home. Um, and out of your perception, trust and data also notice the smell of roast pork in the air. Oh, and my roll of eighteen <laughs> is just. Oh. Mutton, then, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, you, you know. Can I make a well. nature roll? No, you yeah. can tell it's is it long pork. pork. Is it long pork? Uh, yeah, you're pretty sure it's long pork. Mm. Tasty. Wait, what? Long <laughs> pork is the polite term for human flesh, although oh, in this case goody. it may also mean the flesh of animals that aren't traditionally raised for meat. Right. But in this case, probably dwarfs. <laughs> and it's definitely not me. Because you know I'm what? a robot and have no flesh. And you're not being cooked. <laughs> that too. Presently. You know what, from the mountain get... home, I'm not surprised. I'm now currently rolling dw- uh, Burke as if he came from Dwarf Fortress now. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you Can ever roll... roll him otherwise? Yeah. Would it be dungeoneering to see if with inside of the naturally grown walls there are any like natural cavities or holes? Um, yeah, you can make a roll. I'm not even looking for one that would be big enough to fit through, just like one that maybe if we come back to it at night we can pass stuff through or we can talk through sort of thing. Do I see any gaps in the roots? No, it's pretty damn solid. Damn. Although what you do notice as you start moving up even further is you find some of the shrike bushes. And, you know, there's a a few like dwarves, a few humans. Um, Do we have to roll willpower? DC 10. Did I freak out? Uh, no, I think you're all fairly hardened. Okay. But, uh, if you make any bluff oh. checks it's in this situation, yeah, it's going to be... If, if it were DC in fairness, 10, this is the party that non-ironically suggested eating a baby dragon. <laughs> yeah. That's a baby wine dragon. Mm. So you arrive at the gate, and he's ready to... Um, you know, usher in your slaves. Good luck, have fun, don't get into too much trouble. Are you going in? Don't worry. Don't worry, master. (laughs) Dobby will always remember you. (laughs) (laughs) I'll see you again. How many guards in this area? Um, There's another two of the uh, um, elven archers on, on the walls. So is there just like guard help? Trust, get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Trust is Trust, just like you're... Parts. Sorry, I thought, you, I thought you guys were selling me too. I thought like, well, they're going <laughs> to test me. Like, how like, like, in the world are they going to test me? I and think that's the like... Indiana Jones part of the plan. You yeah. escape just before the test begins. Yeah, All You're right. basically Indiana Jones. We're the pure breeds. We can just ride this out. 
Okay, yeah. so <laughs> no <street> tickets. <laughs> Very good. I was streetwising the Caesars. Any connect, any you know resistance movements in here? Well, nope. to be honest, you're probably streetwising just not to look like a prison bitch. <laughs> yeah, streetwise yeah. not to look like a prison bitch. I fail. So the door slams shut behind you. First, if you're going to prison rape someone, it's down to a dwarf, a dinosaur, or a dragon. It's yeah. going to be the dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Sorry, but you, you, you're now corned beef. <laughs> Really, really, right, really got to take that multi class and to get off, but it's going to be worth it. So, definitely going to multi class and monk after this. <laughs> well, how many yeah, times are you going to take all your weapons and dump you in a, prison, a hungry yeah, prison camp? Remember, Gator gave me all of the weapons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I'm magic. You're a fucking magic dinosaur. God bless. Yeah. Did you make a self check to see if you were spotted for that? I will. Yeah. Oh, please, Panos. Yeah, I'm going to say that's enough. 20 is a decent one for that. Gator, do you have a mm. bonus of less than four to anything? I have a lot of penalties to stuff, but I'm, I'm not, not very streetwise. <laughs> it's terrible intimidation. <laughs> He's just too nice. He just looks. <laughs> My skills <laughs> so are lovely. stealth, nature, perception, and something else. Insight. Oh, I get a plus Which two. I don't need to use because we never have insight into anything. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. No, we just Everyone's pretty. Everyone just wears all their things on their sleeve. You know what I mean? In fairness, I have a plus five to religion, and I managed to roll a natural <laughs> one. The only time it may have been useful. Yep. Our party. All right. All right. So, well, where is we're... this wonderful smelling meat coming from? Um, there are several um, like fires dotted around inside this area. Um, you'll right. you'll notice as soon as you um, come in, of course, and it's a collection of humans, dwarves, um, the occasional dragonborn in here. Uh, everyone looks pretty starved, um, and you can see that they are actually cooking people in here. Oh, I'm gonna get in line. It's no different from like mom's homemade gruel. What? <laughs> mom's homemade human broth, the <laughs> finest in the block. <laughs> it was that or the mushrooms. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's only so many days you can be around people constantly eating mushrooms before the methane alone will drive you insane. Never mind the taste. <laughs> Plump helmet, as far as I can see. <laughs> Now, that would be a good title for a porn film. <laughs> <laughs> What's your obsession with porn titles? <laughs> We're in the middle of a bloody elven SS concentration camp, and you're coming no, back no, no. to porn. You're yeah. in the middle of an elven SS concentration camp. I'm on the outside. <laughs> About to it's go for a nice meal. Cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same difference. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'd like to take this moment to apologise to any of our Jewish viewers. <laughs> I'm just to apologise to everybody. Uh, Godwin's Law, we just hit it really quickly now. Yeah, when I was yeah. doing this, you know, concentration camp wasn't on the top of my mind. Apparently it should yep. have been. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What was at the top of your mind? Evil elves. Yeah, yeah I think sure, you hit your mark Nazi very... Nazi elves? <laughs> Yeah, they just kind of moved into that, yeah. <laughs> Gallard Winslow. Gallard Winslow. Now, you have to say everything in a fake fr uh, British accent. Um, no, not British, I mean... Uh... <laughs> fake British accent. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean normal accent is? <laughs> <laughs> fake German accent. Whereabouts in Britain are you coming from? Because there were three British people in the party, although you wouldn't know they were all from the same place by listening to us. Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> Wait, Lynn. We basically landed in uh, Nazi Rivendell, and it's being held, and the leader is being played by uh, Hugo Weaving, who is playing a mix of Elrond and the Red Skull. That's, <laughs> I would I see that, that film. I would watch, I would watch that film. I would watch that. I watch the shit out of that film. I, I, I okay, yep. focus, yeah. focus. Let's, <laughs> let's continue on. What's where? Where, where are the? What are the fortunate Ow. people who are you know happy to be born elves? Happening to right now. Right, they're wandering away from the foul smelling area back up to the camp. 
I'm going to be uh, talking to the captain and and, and our re- what's his name Mal Malreal. Mal Malreal Mal 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 whatever I can't pronounce and, the, um, the elf's name anyway. So. <laughs> and I'm I'm going to just say you know we, to have sub- to have subjugated so many lesser races you guys must have quite the force here and just basically do an insight and try to gather what I can about how powerful they are. Yes, Compl- we have a, a compliment his setup and and his organization and that and whatnot. Yep, he's impressed with that. See, and you said you never use insight. I mean, yeah, he right. he starts talking about how yeah, this is a a fantastic um, fortress. It's one of the the main iron producers for the whole Evergreen Empire. The island. Have you literally just thought of what you could put for EE and then wrote it down while we were talking? Yep. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I just my character sneezes at the mention of iron. Um yes, um uh, we've had to um <laughs> Jesus trust. <laughs> well that's what the lesser races are for is the tunnel digging, right? Yes. We, we... A few overseers. Yeah. You take can't care make wep- good weapons out of wood. And armor, you know, wooden armor, no matter how pretty, is not that effective in battle. So we use the subjugated ones to um, dig. And then, you know, the dwarves are useful for the forging. I mean, we had a nice little forge attached, but it didn't get dragged in with us. Was it a magical forge or was it a standard one? Oh, just a standard one. We supplied the army. Um, All right, so you wouldn't happen to have any top right around. No, no. They yeah. kept all the main mages. Kept that. <laughs> the and the mages them. also weren't brought up here. No, this is a truly just a military encampment. We were a part border force, part mine. How do you see? Uh, how do you see my I and my companions fitting into your force here? Oh uh, well, you have the ship. We can start using that to rebuild the empire here. Um, well, we have found that land masses come and attach themselves to other land masses, so the empire may start literally rebuilding itself soon. Ah, that's good, interesting news. Yes, um, of course, we expect to have um, some problems. I mean, we don't know how many of our elves are being brought in here. We expect to be outnumbered fairly quickly. But, it, you know, we, we have a, the, an idea for auxiliary. You know, cannon fodder troops. We have found through uh, our travels that it appears that, uh, I do not know what the scientific principles of your world are based upon, but it seems that people are coming from separate, we would call them dimensions, worlds similar to your own, but slightly different in some way. So uh, it may be that some people come from worlds where elves aren't the superior race, though surely yeah. those worlds <laughs> must be few in number. Oh, imagine just, that. Just, just what a the thought of such a place. Uh, I mean, you mean there might be worlds where dwarves are in power? No, never. Oh, well, <laughs> of course not. Ridiculous. <laughs> Some things are too ridiculous Stop. even for an infinite universe to concede. Nazi science cannot possibly comprehend this. Oh, <laughs> elven science, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Character sneezes again. Anyway, this is our hum- humble abode. Um, as you can see, we have several barracks here. Um, our own armory. And the keep is designed in such a way that you know we can hold out for at least three weeks on the supplies we have at the moment. Oh, so you have yeah, like uh... a fresh water well, all the essentials. Yes, um, we're not sure how the well is refilling itself, but now that the swamp has appeared, um, we're hoping we can use that to drink. Um, not sure. It may uh, um, twenty to twenty-five men on our airship. If we wanted to go on a raiding expedition, how many men could you send along with us and still have enough to see to the defense of this place? Um, we number forty at the moment, so we could give you twenty. The slaves are not in good state anymore. Um, we, we may have to finish them off soon. Uh, at the end of the day, we, you know, we only have a small amount of the tunnels left, and the amount of iron down there is rapidly disappearing. So there will just be extra excess mouths to feed. Well, we have enough magic to power the airship for one or two raids, so perhaps we should make that our top priority to get some of your men loaded up and um, and. 
go out and see if we can get some food for these slaves. And if not, well, slaves can become food, right? Yes, I, I don't think we need to feed the slaves. They're doing a good job of feeding each other. Um, Excellent. I'm more worried about my troops. You know, Macarius, I think it's great the fact that our friends will totally not backstab us in the ass when they found their own people again, right? <laughs> He's not Macarius! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> it's what? so close! Sorry! <laughs> Wrong game! Uh, just... <laughs> Sorry. Don't uh, tempt fate, otherwise the elf Nazis are going to get banked up by the Imperium, but then we're all <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no matter how big this map is, it, it still won't keep the entire on the side shield on it. <laughs> so totally glad our, our elven friends are, to are totally against this. 